In the Department of Labor, we're proud of several other accomplishments that help support our goal of employment for all Mainers. The first and probably the most significant achievement is the elimination of the wait list in the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Services. I can't stress that strongly enough. When I became commissioner almost eight years ago, we were looking at a 12-month wait list for services for clients in the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Services. Uh, Jill Dusan came on as director of that bureau, and one of her primary goals was to reduce the wait list in spite of in, um, cost cutting that has happened over the past couple of years. Uh, they have pulled together a team focused on the ultimate goal, which is provide quality services to people. And as of October, there was no wait list for DVR services, and we're very proud of that. So thank you, Jill, and your team. Um, we also are part of uh, We Mean Business, which is an employer relations pilot project in Central Maine that is jointly staffed by both Career Center and Vocational Rehabilitation staff. And we at um, DOL have an updated uh, memorandum of understanding with the Department of Education to help us more effectively serve youth in transition from school to work. In spite of the things that we have done, and uh, Commissioner Harvey talked about being a model employer, one of the things that we did within the department in our uh, team award, recognition award this year, went to a group of folks from our Bureau of Rehabilitation Services, our Bureau of Unemployment Insurance, and as well as the um, OIT staff, because we really believe that if you provide the appropriate um, supports and, um, and accommodations that even the most complex tasks can be made accessible for people with disabilities. And unemployment insurance, as I'm sure you've all heard, unemployment is up in Maine, um, not quite as high as it is in other states where it's 7.7 .7 compared to a national average of 9.5. But one of our challenges has been to be responsive to that. Providing unemployment insurance is an incredibly difficult task, very uh, technical, but the teams of vocational rehab and unemployment got together and we put together a program so that uh, people with, uh, who are either um, blind or have low vision can actually perform those uh, tasks and use those screens. And we're using that model to go and do outreach to employers to demonstrate that this is something that uh, is definitely achievable. In spite of everything we have done, um, there are still some remaining uh, challenges, and especially in this economy. Uh, and one of the areas that we do want to focus on is making sure that people with disabilities have every opportunity as it, uh, that any other main resident has. And according to a recent Harris poll, the gap between people with disabilities uh, ages 18 to 64 who are working either part-time or full-time, and people without disabilities in the same age group who are working is 38%. This is unacceptable, and we must work to change this and to lower the state's overall unemployment rate. According to the same study, after a shortage of job openings, the main reason employers haven't hired more people with disabilities in the past three years is a perceived lack of qualified candidates. On a local level, we have heard through our employer relations pilot that several employers believe that many of their applicants lack the soft skills they view as critical to job success. These challenges we can face head on by continuing to work with our business partners and our colleagues at DHHS. We thank you for all of your hard work and we look forward to continuing um, to successfully put all Mainers back to work. So thank you very, very much. Thank you.